Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can create a shape to go behind text that looks a bit like this. But before I start the video, let me tell you where you can find additional Procreate Illustrator and Photoshop training. I have hundreds of classes at Skillshare and the coupon in the description below includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. So let's swing back to Procreate. So the first thing we're going to do is to add some text. So I'm going to choose a sort of orange color and I'm going to type the word summer. So I'm going over here to the gear icon to get to the actions menu. I'll tap add and then I'll tap add text. Now I'm using the font Luna because I just happen to really like this font, but you could use any font. I'm going to the type tool, so I'm just going to type summer. I'll go back to edit style. I'm going to just increase the size a little bit, move it down the screen a bit, and I'll tap done. I can tap the transform tool and move it a little bit further should I wish to do so. So now I've got the word summer, now we need to create that sort of shape that is the word summer but much larger than it. So we're going to the layers palette, I'm going to make a duplicate of the word summer. And this duplicate is on top and what I'll do with it is to rasterize it. So I'll tap the icon here, the layer icon, and I'll tap rasterize. And what that does is it turns it from an editable text object into just straight pixels. And so now what we can do is blur it. So I'm going all the way over here to the adjustments menu, which has got that little sort of magic wand icon, if you like. And I'm going to tap on Gaussian blur. And with these Gaussian blurs, what you can do is put your pencil or your finger on the screen and then just pull over to the right. And as you do, you're adding a blur effect. And that's not nearly enough, so I'm just going to keep doing it. And I'm actually just lifting my pen off as I go. And so I want a fairly decent sort of blur on this shape. So let's go back to the layers palette and we'll make a duplicate of this layer. So I'll just drag across to the left on it and tap duplicate. And this duplicate, this topmost blurred layer, I'm going to change its blend mode to multiply because I want to intensify the effect. And now I'm just going to merge it into the one below. So I'll tap on it and choose Merge Down. And so I end up with one much more intense layer of sort of blur, if you like. This is going to give us the basis for the shape that we're going to create. Now I'm going to tap the plus symbol and I'll just move this layer underneath the word summer because that's where we're going to put this sort of color behind it. I'll also go and get a different color to use. So I think I'll choose a sort of turquoise blue. So I'm going back to my sort of fuzzy layer and I'm going to the selection tool, this ribbon S. Now let me just clear that selection and I'm going to show you what you want and what you don't want. So when I just tap outside the word summer, just in the sort of white area, I'm getting the kind of selection I want, but chances are you may not. If I tap and drag, you can see that I can actually get a selection which looks like this, and this is not the selection you want. This is way too much selected. So if you get a selection like this, what you're going to do is put your pencil or your finger on your screen and you're going to drag back towards the left and that's adjusting the selection threshold. And it needs to come way down. And when it gets the right spot, let's see what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like when I tap on it. Now this is a very rough selection, so what I want to do is start increasing it until it smooths out a little bit. But I should be able to see the word summer here, and if I can't see the word summer, the selection is just not going to work. So there is a what I would call a good selection. I'm really happy with that. So having achieved that, I'm going to tap invert. And this is the look that you should get. Now I'll go to the layers palette, I'll tap on the new layer that I added and I want to fill that with my blue color and because I've got a selection in place, all I need to do is to tap the layer icon here and choose fill layer. And that adds the fill to the shape underneath and of course we've still got our blurry summer so if we turn that off, we're going to get the look that we were looking for which is this shape around the text. 
Now, if you make layers of different selections, some of which are more detailed than others, you could potentially build up some layered effects here as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video showing you how you can harness the power of a good girls in blur and a well thought out selection to create elements that you would otherwise have to paint yourself in Procreate. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.